Are you lacking a committed relationship and feel like there's something intrinsically unlovable about you? Or that you're jinxed in terms of ever finding a lifelong loving and committed partner? Or do you have a wonderful man in your life who you know loves you, but you're completely baffled as to why he won't commit and take things to the next level? Hi there. I'm Coach Paula Grooms, a certified dating and relationship coach and also a licensed social worker. In this short video, I'm going to share with you my five core principles of men and commitment that will not only give you a new understanding of how men commit, but also help you to have a more positive outlook for your romantic future. In my years of coaching, I've seen that the greatest cause of women's pain and heartbreak is due to their inability to understand and accept a simple fact of men that I call the male cognitive commitment component, which is simply this. Men do not act from their feelings or act on their feelings, but make decisions about what they think is right for them and those they love or care about regardless of their feelings. If you're like 99% of women watching this, when you fall in love, you're committed. It's not even something you think about. It just happens. Whether you've been dating or in a relationship for a month or a year, if you've spent enough time with a man because you like him and have a physical relationship, you fall in love and voila, you're committed. Heart, body, and soul. But as men do not commit through any of the same means as women, this leaves a woman feeling that when her man won't commit, it means he doesn't love her. While this is not only rarely the case, it also leaves women feeling bad about themselves and their worthiness to have love and be loved. These feelings can then create a negative pattern of trying harder with a man, which ultimately pushes him away and in turn may take away his positive feelings that would allow him to make a decision to commit. My hope is that once you hear, accept, and incorporate the cognitive commitment component, along with the core principles of how, why, and when men commit, you will begin to free yourself of negative thoughts and emotions and know that you are perfectly lovable to move forward in your journey to romantic fulfillment. Principle number one is the most important principle. If you don't remember anything else from this video, I want you to sear this first principle into your brain and your heart. Core principle number one is that women view commitment as an outgrowth of love. Men view commitment as a responsibility. If you have any question as to whether or not this first principle is true, I want you to ask as many men as you can, who you are not dating or romantically involved with, of course, to verify that principle and you will have your answer. The second principle is a woman commits through time an emotional, physical, and sexual connection with a man she loves. A man commits when he has made the decision that the time is right for him to take on the responsibility to and for a woman that he loves. Number three, women need to feel deeply desired, loved, and secure to feel good about committing. Men need to feel that they are achieved enough, financially prepared, and have found a woman who they are confident will maintain their interest and desire for the long term in order to inspire them to remain faithful and help keep them from walking away from their responsibility. Now, you might have a lot of difficulty hearing principle number three, as many women do, because you may feel that this principle puts the onus on women to make men happy or puts the responsibility for a man being faithful onto the woman he is with. Now, it's very important that you make the distinction that number three and all the core principles are how a man views making a commitment. 
This stems from the simple difference between the sexes because when you are truly in love, you typically don't have more than a passing thought about having sex with another man. And even if given the opportunity with a Channing Tatum lookalike, you can easily refuse. But no matter how in love a man is, he still thinks about having sex with other women. This is simply a natural state for a man. And while those thoughts can't be stopped, it's what a man does or doesn't do about them that makes him a good guy. And because good men measure themselves by how well they live up to their commitments, a man needs to feel that he is committing to a woman who will continue to inspire him to be good and do good throughout his life with her. You might think of it like mm, being on a diet. When on a diet, you tend to think about food a lot, right? And there are many times that you need to feel inspired to maintain your resolve, no? You know that if met with too much temptation, you're going to need to have a seriously motivating and inspiring reason not to devour a luscious piece of chocolate cake when offered to you. Well, as all women are luscious sweets and goodies to men, in order to make a decision to commit, a man will need to feel completely confident that he won't go looking for other desserts or at least feel that he will be inspired enough after many years to maintain his resolve to pass up another confection when offered to him. Number four of the five core principles of men and commitment is that a woman will accept all the attention, caring, time, and sex a man is willing to give in an attempt to build a relationship with that man to determine if he is the one. A man will accept all the attention, caring, time, and sex a woman is willing to give for as long as she is willing to give it with no intention other than to enjoy himself unless he has decided it's the right time for him to be in a committed relationship. And last but not least of the five principles is time, attention, devotion, and great sex will increase the possibility of gaining a commitment from a woman who is resistant to being in a committed relationship. Conversely, time, attention, devotion, and great sex will actually diminish the possibility of getting a commitment from a man who is resistant to being in a committed relationship. Number five is where I see a lot of my clients and women making mistakes that can be very costly to them in terms of their time, especially as that relates to having children. A woman will feel that if she continues to stay with a man long enough, make him happy with a lot of attention and great sex, he will come around or see the light and want the committed relationship that she does. And of course, we've all heard of a friend of a friend of a distant second cousin whose boyfriend married her after 10 years, right? Well, I hope you don't let these stories mislead you. As I would dare say, in all of those rare and highly unusual cases, there are many particulars and details of each relationship of which we are not aware. Uh, for example, the woman in the equation may have finally employed the difficult strategies I coach that are necessary to move a man forward in a relationship to make a commitment. And the man ultimately decided he did not want to lose the woman and agreed to commit. That certainly does happen, but it's again rare. But do you really want to take your chances, risk heartbreak, and possibly waste years of your life by betting on a long shot? I hope you don't want low odds of success and are watching this video because you are a woman who values the most important thing you have to give a man, your time. To help you determine where your man is on the scale of being ready, willing, and able to take on the responsibility of a committed relationship, and more specifically, if your guy is desirous of making a commitment to you, go now to coachpaulagrooms.com and take my consumer versus buyer relationship test. Once you put your first name and email address in, you will be able to watch another video that explains the two states of being in which all men live in. And you will understand how the consumer versus buyer relationship test can help you. 
Because I have worked with countless women who have suffered from the pain of waiting for a man who is not ready for a committed relationship, I am offering the educational video, written information, my unique test, and the scoring to you completely free of charge or obligation. Share it with your friends and sisters, coworkers, and any woman you know who will benefit from knowing where she stands with her man. Once you have your own results, connect with me for a complimentary session on where you go next. And please don't delay and risk making the small but fatal mistakes that I and so many countless women have made by giving complete love and devotion to a consumer who may be an absolutely wonderful man, just one who is simply not ready to be in a committed relationship. It could make all the difference between more wasted time and abject heartbreak or real love and happiness for you this year in a committed relationship. Go now and make the connection to this important test and to me and start making a change in your love life that can help you create a love that will last a lifetime.